welcome back to another mukbang. Today I am back with another pasta dish, and this is my first time making it. But I think I'll, I think I'll wing it pretty well. I am making creamy truffle pasta. So there's this dish that I tried in Paris last time I visited, and it's kind of it's almost the same actually. But um, I'm just using different type of pasta. Probably not as good of an ingredient, <laughs> but. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys and hopefully it turns out well and I hopefully it's something that you guys will want to try as well. So we're gonna start we're gonna start off with one tablespoon of butter. Um my I think this one is unsalted, but you guys can use salted. I'm gonna put it like medium, medium high heat. So the truffle that I am going to use today is this black truffle, like um, preserved truffle slices. It's preserved in the olive oil as well, so I can use both. This, I think I'm going to use this as garnishing, but as part of my ingredient, I'm going to use white truffle cream. And it is artificially flavored, so it's not, it wasn't as pricey. Okay, so. I'm going to add some white mushrooms. I'm going to saute them really well. So I'm going to add extra butter. Then lower it to medium heat. Whenever you're making, or well, whenever I'm making pasta dish with mushrooms like this, I think the key is to really cook them thoroughly, like brown them very well. So in here, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to add, where's my water? I'm going to add a little bit of pasta water. Just very little bit. Okay, I want to... Raise the heat, and then I'm going to add, this is Italian cream cheese, mascarpone. Am I saying it wrong? Mascarpone, mascarpone. I'm going to add about uh, 40, this is about 50 milliliter. About, wait, I feel like I might need more. I think I added too much water, I think. Okay, so this is how the container looks like. And I'm going to just grab a little bit more. Maybe how much more? But this is about another like 20 milliliter ish. Okay. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Lots and lots of Parmesan cheese. Kind of like using a, like a heavy cream, but you're replacing with mascarpone. Then I'm going to add the truffle cream, maybe like that much. I'm going to start off with that much. If I feel like if it's too little, then we'll add more. But they're very, very strong in flavor, so I don't, I don't think you should start off with too much. Ooh, I'm gonna really smell that. Mm. Wow. It really does remind me, but let's just wait until the cheese melts a little bit. I want to add more. Maybe I should add a little bit of heavy cream. Maybe instead of the water, maybe you could use like a heavy cream. Okay, this is like totally getting out of control now, but I want to just add a little bit of cream. Heavy cream just to see if it'll make it better. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I want to just season them with salt and pepper. Just a little bit of salt. And some black pepper. Okay. I'm 
then I'm going to add Malfedine pasta. Mm. I just want them to thicken up a little bit. I'm going to see how they taste. Mmm. Maybe I've added too much Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to add a little bit more heavy cream. I purposely undercooked the pasta because I knew I'd be having it overheat for a little longer. And then with the sliced, the preserved sliced truffles, I minced that up with a little bit of olive oil from the jar. And I'm going to just kind of more garnishing it, top it off. If you have the dried truffle in slices, that's like the more, not traditional, but like more common way, I guess. Um, but I don't have that. I think dry truffles are the most expensive ones. <laughs> okay. For a drink, I have mini Coke. I haven't drank soda on my channel for the longest time. Um, but this is actually leftover from my the wedding rehearsal. So I have a couple left and I haven't drank Coke in a while, but... so sweet and I have some habanero hot sauce just in case you know it is a very heavy sauce so very creamy so mm. I think if you guys don't have the, if you guys can't find the mascarpone or if you guys don't want to go out of your way and let's say you have this alfredo sauce, I think you're okay. <laughs> Just adding that. I don't even need this. Okay, maybe I will, but. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. The flavor is so unreal. I think this just became my number one pasta. Um, you could skip, I think, from the original. So the original, okay, the, the recipe that I found on online, they don't add, use heavy cream, but I think I like it with heavy cream. <laughs>
Mm. Like a mushroom. Should I try it with hot sauce for the sake of trying it with hot sauce? <laughs> just a little bit. Like, I mean, you don't need it, but I feel like some people might just because like they can't have too much like creamy stuff. Mmm. Mmm. It kills that truffle flavor just a little bit, but it's really good. I kind of wish I could add like some spicy pepper in here. Mmm. Okay. I think any shrimp dish might be good. And one more. So good. These noodles are so cute. Okay, I am going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe mukbang. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. When I went to Paris and I tried this dish, uh, I felt like they didn't give you enough and I was okay if they charged more and gave you a little bit more extra. But I kind of understand why they, they, they purposely don't give you that much because it gets very like heavy. It gets very just very overwhelming eventually so because i made it for almost like two person serving and it can get very um it can get very heavy i suggest you making less for yourself unless you're sharing with anybody other than that it was an amazing dish i can't wait to master it and serve it to my friends and family definitely need something carbonated 
Maybe even wine. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed everything and I'll see you guys in the next mukbang. Bye guys!